Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legit. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, hit that bell notification because next week I'm giving away a waterproof winter pair of gloves by LDM. More on that to come later on in the video. A gang of moped and motorcycle criminals has been spotted again on CCTV using a ramming technique to rob a potential victim. A terrifying video has emerged of a gang of moped thieves ramming a man off his moped in broad daylight, then assaulting him repeatedly and attempting to steal his moped. The brazen assault slash attempted theft took place in Bedminster, Bristol, and the video was posted online by Stolen Motorcycle and Recovery London. The clip demonstrates the level of violence these criminals are willing to resort to in order to steal a moped. But clearly to the victim, this isn't just a moped, this is his livelihood, and he puts up a gallant fight to protect it, even performing a radical flying karate kick on one of the robbers. For his resistance, he received a number of blows with a helmet, numerous punches, and a couple of kicks to the head while he was down, stealing up by bike is low, but kicking an innocent man in the head while he's down is just repugnant. After the scrap, the thieves ran away with their tails between their legs, and the brave biker not only kept his own moped, but also managed to recover someone else's. Avon and Somerset Police have said the incident is being investigated. The shocking attack comes at a time when moped crime across London has halved, thanks to tougher police tactics on such individuals. Let me know your opinion down in those comment sections below, guys. Do you think it's halving, or do you think it's just going under the radar more. Thieves are getting better at being sneakier. So as Jon Snow would say, winter is coming. So be prepared and get your hands on this toasty warm pair of gloves by LDM. All you got to do is tune in next week and enter the competition which I'll be hosting then. Best of luck. Two 16 year old teenagers have been jailed for a series of armed robberies involving mopeds in East London. John Smith and Shamar Williams used knives and hammers to threaten moped riders and then steal their bikes. They would then ride up to women and steal their bags before escaping. Overall, police discovered they had carried out 34 offences. They were eventually caught after a specialist police unit was set up to investigate the robberies. One of them was filmed by a CCTV camera in Leytonstone Road on the 4th of November. Smith and Williams used a lump hammer to threaten a moped rider before stealing his bike. On Friday, Smith and Williams were given sentences adding up to five years each. They had pled guilty to conspiracy to rob earlier at the hearing. Detective Superintendent Raphael Diorsi from the Metropolitan Police said, I want to commend my colleagues from the borough who secured this successful conviction. Their work in this case has led to two dangerous individuals being taken off the streets. So what we're going to see here next is these two youths attack this delivery rider. It's really important to think about transitional spaces, spatial awareness, who's around you, what are they doing, especially if you're a delivery rider outside a shop like this. You're often waiting around for orders to come in. Now these guys know the areas where you're going to be waiting and they can easily prey on you like they've done here. So you're going to see someone else comes out of the shop there and kind of fends them off a bit, helps them out. But the damage is done, his bike's already been damaged, he's been cut up too. Now this is another tactic that happened really quickly, let's go over it again slowly. The guy in that first ped has pulled in front of the guy in a high vis jacket, jumped off and tried hijacking it from him. Now, I mean, the level of moped crime has definitely slowed down than what it used to be, but it's still there. It's never going to disappear because you're always going to have people like this and you know those people who I'm referring to who will rock up and just opportunistically steal a motorbike. Now they're using their horse to pull the motorbike away. These guys, probably a little bit more organized, they've got a gang going on. They clearly know how to start a ped without the key. They've got bottle croppers in their hands there, but you know, they're not wearing balaclavas. They're not as savvy. Those Yorkshire, those Yorkshire folk aren't as savvy as they are down London. Just the sheer audacity of it as well. Just to be riding around like that, no helmets on, you, you really kind of wish that, you know, that van would just swerve into them and bonk them off the road. But what can the police do realistically? This officer here, for instance, he is outnumbered probably 1 to 15. I, I don't even know why people would even film this. Okay, yeah, they, they gloat in, they're doing wheelies, saying, look what we're doing, police and all that stuff. But like, what do you expect him to do? What, is he going to ram all of you off your bikes, arrest all of you with one pair of handcuffs and one baton? I don't think so. I think the police, as it is, is already like massively stressed and up the car. Our, our latest government's promised loads of police officers, but I don't know, I can't see that happening. And especially trying to stop them like this with a stop stick, it's, it's just so Why? hard to. How do you stop a moped thief? 
but it is being done and we are seeing results from all these rammings and these new tactics. It's definitely slowed the rate of moped theft down. It's not as crazy as it was last year. So that goes to show that the police are clearly doing something right. Now we need to hold our end of the bargain up by making sure we are protecting ourselves and our property. Now these guys have spotted a potential victim on the opposite side of the road because they're standing on the very corner with the phone in their hands and bam, he's got the phone, he speeds off, boyfriend runs after that, him. They steal that mo mobile phone. Boyfriend's never gonna get that mobile phone back again and those oh guys are gonna God. get away with it. Like they always do. So if the police are tackling these guys head on, we need to be preventing these guys from taking our stuff so easily. Even while I'm out on the motorbike and I take a sharp corner going round a bend, I see people standing there at zebra crossings, uh, pedestrian crossings all the time with their phones in their hands, literally holding it out. And I always think to myself, if I was a moped thief, wow, this would be so easy to steal your phone. You're basically offering it to me on a platter. So we need to hold up our end of the bargain whilst the police struggle to do theirs. If you guys have any tips or tricks on how you keep your stuff safe while you're out or about, or if you park up, do you always keep your bike in sight? Whatever you do, drop a comment down below and spread it in the legit community. Guys, as always, you've been awesome. I've been legit. I'll catch you in the next one.